I bumped into a kid at a comedy club recently that I knew. This kid was in a massive comedy club opening. It's a stand open up in New York. You guys should go. One of the best clubs, blah, blah, blah. I'm passing the comedy store now. New York can literally be bombed. I don't care. <laughs> I, I literally, without exception, everyone that lives there could burn in hell. I don't care. 9 11 every day, every building on the hour. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. You didn't know what I fuck you had when I lived there. I gave my best years to that fucking city and got very little. The only person I like is Patrick Milligan, who's from Long Island. That is it, who booked the stand. Everybody else can burn in fucking hell. I hope your skin melts off your face. The stand is good. Go to the stand. At the opening of the stand, I have a guy come up to me who is in the midst of a full-on breakdown. The guy, this is weird. Comedy clubs in New York bring out people, the opening of a comedy club will bring out people you thought quit. Right. And they just show up. Like, they're going to, like, have the right conversation. They're going to get back. They're going to get back in the game. <laughs> they're like, if I just bump into the right guy, things are going to go well. Yeah. If I just make the right quip and Mark Norman laughs, well, I'm going to turn around. Uh, so some guy, and this guy is like a guy that I uh, recommended for JFL. Like, I've been very nice to this guy. He shows up. Like, like, hey, man, how's it been? We're standing outside of the, the club. He goes, huh. as soon as as soon as you hear that, you know, mm -hmm. run. <coughs> you got to run. As yeah. soon as you hear that, you got to run. He goes, huh, huh. I'm like, oh, no. He goes, I'm 10 years in. I got nothing. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, you're a real funny guy, man. And he goes, don't say that. Don't say that. He goes, I don't, I don't look at you like the rest of these people do. I'm not starry-eyed when I look at you. And I'm like, I don't think anyone looks at me starry-eyed, <laughs> but whatever. He's like, he's like, you're crazy. You're crazy. I know you're crazy. He's like, so everything you said, like, and I'm like, okay. Only in comedy are the, the, if you succeed on any level, you're crazy. You're a lunatic. It's the people who've not figured out anything that are somehow morally pure and good. Yeah. Everyone else who's everyone else who's done anything is crazy, right? So I say to the guy, I'm like, man, you can't do this here. You can't have a breakdown in front of everyone. It's not that good. And he's like, I have this shitty job. I have a day job. And I'm like, man, at least you're connected with us. Now you're trying to find things so he doesn't put a gun in his mouth. I'm like, at least you're connected to other people. Yeah, at least you have a schedule. You're connected to real people. He goes like this. He goes, I do it with other comics. I'm like, Ugh, well, yeah, well. And I'm like, listen, man, you know, it is what it is. But why are you mad at me? What are you mad at me for? Because when I, when I said to this guy a few years ago, he should do a podcast, he laughed in my face. <laughs> mm. Okay. It is what it is, dude. Yeah. It is what it fucking is, man. There's a lot of angry people out there that had an opportunity to, to do the things that a lot of us fucking did. And why would you not want to do a podcast? Fucking fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's fun. And you should fucking do it. I just tested for that David Spade show, Lights Out on Comedy Central. I'll probably do panel on that. It's just fun. Why would you not want to do it? You just write jokes. You show up. You make jokes. David Spade's hilarious. Who give you know? Mm -hmm. It's just fun to do. These are fun things to do. People, you you can't not do things and then get angry that you didn't get the things that other people got from doing the things you fucking refused to do. So, but it's just funny to me that people show up to a fucking opening in mid breakdown, right. mid panic attack, thinking that somebody's going to be like, get over here. You're uh, going to work every night now. Uh, I love you. Come here. God. Everyone's going to go hug them. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Nobody uh, cares about you. This is my problem. I don't have a problem with Gary Vanyarchuk in the way that people think I have a problem with him. I don't hate his hustle. I don't, whatever. Do what you want to do. The problem with Gary Vanderchuk is he never tells people about their limitations. He never tells them to embrace any type of realism. He never tells them about the other side of risk. Okay? He's, he, he, he leaves all of that out. Mm -hmm. It's all about hustle and grind and all this literal gibberish. There's better sales trainers. Brian Tracy Zig, Ziegler. They'll literally talk about selling things and what to say at every moment during a sale. They actually do that, okay? But the problem with Gary Vee is like, I'm all for, you want to start your own shit? You want to do your own thing? I'm all for that. I'm not, now most of you shouldn't. Most of you should not. Most of you should not. Pull the car over and listen to me if this isn't getting to your fucking head, okay? Most of you should not 
do your own thing because your happiness in life will not come from it. It's going to come from relationships. It's going to come from children. It's going to come from your communities, your hobby. It's not going to come from work. People are Now, my happiness is going to come from work because I am a demon from hell sent here <laughs> to, to, to destroy and then to rebuild. I'm part of a cycle. People don't get that, okay? Um, and those, everyone that you see who's successful is a demon. Megan Rapinoe is a demon from hell. She's a demon from hell. That dyke worked so hard because she doesn't feel. The bitch doesn't feel like you feel. She didn't care about the sweater you got her for Christmas. She just wants to win. <laughs> oh, Megan, grandma's dying. Oh, fuck her. I want to play soccer. I'm a, I'm a power-hungry dyke. That's all I want. I want to get in fights with Trump because I can kick a ball. My skill's kicking a ball in the net. Fuck you. But I respect her because she's a demon from hell. Okay? That's the real motivational training. Gary Vaynerchuk gets out and goes, who hears a demon from hell? <laughs> Many people aren't going to raise their hands. He goes, that's good. You all get jobs. You all go and get jobs. But Amy Schumer go, yeah, it's going. And he'll go, yeah. And that's why she's in arenas. Now, I'm not saying... You know, don't come at me here and be like, well, you know, so-and-so donated money to, you know, Doctors Without Border. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It's not what I mean. You know what I mean. What I mean is the qualities that you have that make you human, if you want to succeed, you got to turn them down a little. Turn them down. Turn the feelings down a bit. Yeah. Turn them down. Got to be more Asian. Be Asian. Just business. Asians succeed. They don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. They don't flip out in bagel shops. There's no manners. There's, they just go straight to the they, point. They do what they need to do. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, when I meet somebody who's like uber emotional, I'm like, you got to rein it in or find a business where you can be emotional. But there's not a lot of them. A lot of business, you got to be strategic. Okay? Like my, my friends think they're going to all be entrepreneurs, but they, they can't not, you know, they don't know what it's like to not, like, get AIDS, you know? <laughs> and I'm not saying that they have AIDS, but it's, it's an accident that they don't have AIDS. So it's like, well, you don't even know how to not get AIDS because you're so impulsive that you're just like, give me that bloody pussy. How about you need to not do that? You need to get a fucking, figure something out where you can, like Megan Rapinoe did. Mm. She's a demon from hell. And I don't, I don't say demon from hell in, like, a negative way. Right. I know that there's a negative connotation. Um, but I mean, this is a bitch that stuffed her emotions. Stuff your, your emotions are impoverishing you. They're making you poor. They're making you stupid. Not all of them. And there are people that are genuinely fucked. Don't message me and be like, so does this mean that a four-year-old would can't? No, it, no, no. I believe, I, I'm, I, I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. Because Bernie's the only... Here's one reason. He's the only one not dancing with Jeffrey Epstein at dinner. Bernie's the only fuck not on a conga line with Jeffrey Epstein. For that reason alone, maybe let's try him. Right. He's in Vermont. And he, he wants people to have health insurance. And You know, I might get on that train. He's the only guy that seems like a person. Like an like a honest enough person. Yeah, I think we give him a shot. I understand why people gave Trump a shot. They were like, he's the outsider. He's not the out... Guys, 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 guys. What outside is he? Right. You think anyone gave a shit about... You think he would care about human trafficking? He's on to... He's at Mar-a-Lago. They're like, some of these girls aren't of age. He's like, hey, get out of here. <laughs> Doesn't care. You made him into some moral crusader? Grow up! Grow up! Why? Because he fucking says shit? He tweets? And Ocasio-Cortez, the other one, you like her because she's a bartender who can clap back? Grow the <laughs> fuck up. Grow up. Gary Vaynerchuk, you, you, you fuckers don't deserve Gary Vaynerchuk. He thinks too highly of you. That's the problem. I know what you are. You don't get a business. You shut your mouth. Um, I do understand when I go on these rants why I think the dating podcasts are successful. <laughs> Because I do think after at a certain period, 
this is very toxic. But I do think, like, this is an abusive podcast, probably. Like people, Some people are in a relationship, like an abusive relationship with this show. But all I'm saying is that all I'm telling you all to do is, is, is be pragmatic and embrace a cynical realism and just tone it down. You know, stop, stop being so easily manipulated. You don't all have to do face app. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. The NSA loves that you do it. Now you're on the, you're probably were in a database, whatever, but you don't have to do it. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. I know. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone. 